Hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome to today's Pick A Card Reading and it is everybody's Friday favourite, his current thoughts. We've got group one, group two, group three here. Uh, they, is this just a snapshot reading? I think I've got seven cards today, I'm not exactly sure. Um, but I hope you enjoy today's reading, I hope it helps you a little bit. Um, if, uh, if you're new here, um, this could be a general overview of your relationship. If you're a regular here, it's more likely to be a, a, an update, a weekly update or something like that. Um, but obviously just take whatever resonates and leave what doesn't um, regarding how to interpret it as well as um, the messages within. Obviously it's general, so not everything will perhaps apply to you. Okay guys, well let's get on with today's reading. And so it is his or her current thoughts. Okay, I just realised you can see that one. No, oh, well, I can stay there, it's fine. Right, so his or her current thoughts. We've got the Hierophant, Princess of Wands, the World, the Devil, Stick With It, Say Thank You, Detox. Okay, this person feels like they're stuck in something that is a bit unhealthy. This could be with you or it could be someone else. They're really stubborn though, that might be their nature. They're sticking with it, they're... They appreciate this situation that they've got going on. Um, so for some, it's like, what it looks like to me is they're kind of, they're very committed. We've got the Hierophant here. This person is very committed. They could be married to this person. That person could be you. They're in some sort of committed situation. Um, but And they, they are sticking with it. And they are grateful for it in some regard, Right? But they also know it's unhealthy or it feels unhealthy. And so they do want to detox. They do want to let go. We've got the world here and we've got the detox. So the world is this completion of a cycle. They want something to end and to be able to maybe travel or move on or move away from this old situation. So they are looking to kind of complete this cycle and move on. There's something that's unhealthy that they are sticking with that they appreciate or that they are kind of in a rut with, but it's not good for them. It's toxic with um, the devil here. It's based on this is a connection or a habit or a behavior that is, it can be like a substance abuse. So this could be like a, an addiction. So it can be a, a, a commitment to an addiction. So I'm seeing it as a person, but it could be a, um, a habit or a behavior. It could be a job, but there's something that it gives them something though, because we've got to say thank you. So they're definitely getting something from it, but it's not healthy. And that what their thoughts are is that they are kind of aware of it. They like it. It's convenient. They're sticking to it, but they know that they've got to detox. They know they've got to let go. Princess of Wands here is telling me what they're doing. This is them. So they are making the first forays, if you like. They're having their th first thoughts about potentially leaving the past behind and moving forwards so they're having their first kind of inkling that it's time or they're sort of starting to make inquiries as to how to move on from this old situation but it's early days because this person is very wrapped up in this behavior or relationship or situation but they have got detox on their mind they do want to kind of detox detox eventually but at the minute there's also a part of them that's sticking with it so they're very much kind of in that middle period so i hope this makes sense loads of love i'll see you on the next reading thank you so much bye bye hi group two how you doing okay so here's or her current thoughts six of discs six of coins obviously queen of wands ace of cups the tower be patient, let go and flow, say yes. Mm. Interesting because, you know, we've got the tower here. We've got let go and flow. We've got say yes. We've got ace of cups. This person is going through or has been through some sort of crisis or loss or they're going through something very chaotic in their life. It could be to do with the romantic situation, but it doesn't have to be. Because what I do see romantically is somebody who is in their power. Their thoughts are that they're feeling powerful. They're feeling empowered. They are wanting to um, 
but you see we've got six of coins here making or receiving an offer and say yes so this person is open to new love with the ace of cups this person wants to make an offer or wants to have an offer made to them so they are open to new love their mind is very much on they are open to new love definitely so it's not that they're not interested it's not that they don't care it's not that they don't want it what i'm seeing is is that that this message could be very simple really because we've got be patient and then we've got let go and flow what i'm seeing is this person does want to make you an offer or does want to kind of get into a new situation they do want the relationship to move forward or they do want a new cycle in the relationship but at the minute because they've got this tower going on whatever it is some sort of breakdown or chaos within some area of their life could be to do with a relationship but doesn't have to be that's why they're asking to you to be patient right so they're saying you're going to need to wait here let go and flow i can't sort of move forwards until i've dealt with this situation this person is not in a bad mental state though or a bad emotional state with the queen of wands this is someone very much in their power they're feeling good it's just that they've got this situation going on whatever it is but they do want a new situation say yes ace of cups they do want a new situation they do want to move forwards they do want to make an offer or receive that offer absolutely so you know this is their intention but they can't move forwards with let go and flow until they've let go of this old situation. That's what has to be dealt with first. Once they've dealt with that, they'll be able to move forwards. So I hope this makes sense. Loads of love, guys. I'll see you on the next reading. Bye. Hi, group three. How are you? So... Um, his or her current thoughts, we've got the Ten of Discs, the Six of Swords, the King of Wands, the Prince of Swords, we've got clear up your, clean up your mess, invest in your spirit and give yourself the best. Okay, so this person definitely has commitment on their mind with the Ten of Coins, they are wanting it all, right? So they're no longer content with a half situation, they want everything, they want all of it, they want the the job, the money, the house, the family, the everything, you know, this is the ten of coins, is this commitment, um, and it can be looking at a longer term commitment with yourself, it depends on your situation, but this person is looking for something solid and real and physical and in this realm, in this world right now, you know, they're looking for something tangible, um, it might be that they haven't always been. We've got the Six of Swords here. This is them moving from a period of kind of relative um, uh, instability or unhappiness or something towards something better. With the King of Wands, I see them taking charge of their life, wanting to move forwards, wanting to take charge, stepping up, following their uh, instincts here and really being quite bold. With the Prince of Swords, this is the uh, Knight of Swords. Just be careful though, because they may, as a result of deciding what they want and wanting to take action, they may overreact or do something and then change their mind or go back on it a little bit or, you know, make a move and then decide that maybe they've gone too far too fast or something like that. With the Prince of Swords, that can be the case. Um, if you've had some sort of argument or issue with clean up your mess and the Prince of Swords, they might have put their foot in their mouth, they might have said something wrong, they might have done something wrong, in which case they're going to come up, uh, they're going to come towards you and try to sort this out. The thing is, this person does have commitment on their mind, they do have moving forwards on their mind, they do want to sort situations out. They're going from a more up in their head, point of view towards a more spiritual mindset so they could be having a bit of an epiphany and with give yourself the best and the ten of coins they definitely just want the whole situation you know they want the dream they want the the best that they can have in their life they want that relationship that gives them everything they want that situation that gives them everything and they're no longer content with a like half situation they want the full thing they want to sort things out with clean up your mess. They do want to take action with the King of Wands and the Prince of Swords. I do see them 
wanting to take action and the six of swords says that they are healing from old wounds old issues and they are definitely wanting to move forwards now so i hope this makes sense loads of love guys and i'll see you on the next reading bye